We think that in the south, it's the land of the sweet tea. So there is a, a little bit of an affinity to having a more you know, full-flavored beverage. My name is Sebastian Wolfram. I'm the director of brewing operations here at Natty Greens. We are in Greensboro at our production facility. Um, we currently have expanded the building to brew about 20 to 25,000 barrels. The Natty Greens Brewing Company got initially started in 2004 with only the brew pub downtown here in Greensboro. And then in 2007, the plan was to expand the beer side and so we opened up this, this production facility. So we do from everything a light golden ale, which is sort of our sort of domestic comparative to you know, a Miller or a Bud, all the way to standard pale ale. Uh, we do an American amber ale and the brown ale and the Belgian wit beers. Part of the philosophy of ours is to uh, you know, give the beer home, and so the, 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 you know, the part of the strategy is a little bit to open up brew pubs in each larger market and give the beer home and have a local presence. Uh, we really believe in the, you know, not just talking about being a local beer, but actually being local in that specific market. Our catchphrase is, you know, taste the south, and so most of what I'm focusing on is sort of a, a pronounced malt body within the styles, because we think that's sort of the key to make it be accessible and drinkable to a more general group. Coming from our brew pub background and also the general idea of that beer ultimately is something that is to be enjoyed and obviously should taste good, but not necessarily you know, call your attention every time you take a sip. And that's basically what happens with all these massive, big, big craft beers that you know, every time you drink, they sort of pull you away from everything that's going on. And so our beers are sort of more designed to be sort of a companion.